Hi there, my name is Serge and I am one of the European team members on Adobe's platform evangelism team. In Flex 4 we introduced a new states model and I just want to show you how easy it is to use that. So here we are in Flash Builder and I already created this little login panel, but as you can see there are a number of components that I don't really need um, when I log in, when I'm already registered. Um, so I actually have a, um, a new customer uh, checkbox and when I check that, I only want to show the location uh, bar and then I also want to change the value of the login button, the label of the login button to register. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to use the states panel in Flash Builder 4 to create a new state and I'll call that register, like that. Uh, and then I'm going to just pop into source view and you see that we now have a states tag and that's where you define all the different states in your application. Uh, so I'll just rename the first one to login, uh, since state one doesn't really say that much. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tell specific components where to show up. So for my form item, uh, the location form item, I only want to show that up when I'm in the register state. So this is new in Flex 4. I'm just going to say include this in the register state. That's easy, right? Um, now what I also want to do is change the label of this button. I want to change this label to register when I'm in the register state. So I'm just going to say label and I'm going to say relabel.register. So I'm going to change the label when I'm in the register state and then I'm going to call the label register like that. I can even change click events. So for instance, when I click on this button, when I am in the um, when I'm in the login state, I want to do a login function or launch a login function. And when I am in the register state, I want to actually launch the register function. Like that. I also want to change the label name for the panel and actually uh, also need to make these functions here first. So I'll say uh, protected function register function and that gets a mouse event like the other one like that that gets rid of that error and I'll also change the title for the panel here so I'll say whenever I'm in the register state I don't want the title to say login but I want it to say register like that maybe with a capital R. Now if we launch the application again, you'll see that um, in our first state, we're not showing that location bar. Um, so if I click this new customer um, uh, checkbox, I actually wanna go to the register state. So I, I still need to lock that or um, hook that up. So let's find our uh, new customer checkbox here. And I'll say, um, whenever I change this, I want to go to the other state, like that. Launch it again. When I click on the new customer state or the new customer checkbox is gonna to go to the other state, you'll see that the label changes for my panel, um, the location checkbox or Dropbox uh, shows up and the label for my button also changes. So hopefully that gives you a good idea on how easy it is to use the states model in Flex 4. Um, check out the Adobe Developer Connection and uh, I'll see you next time.